The best health care is there in ways big and small. There when we most and least expect it. We may not see it, but we feel it. It lets us know we're not in this alone. Everyone deserves a health care partner who never quits. One who's there for what matters. United Healthcare, there for what matters. It's not just another day in your life. Things are changing for the better. At Comcast, we see those changes and we're thinking about how we use technology today to live, work, learn, and play. And we're building for the future now, so we're better prepared for the wants and needs of tomorrow. That's why Comcast is rolling out multi-gig internet speeds to more than 50 million homes and businesses before the end of 2025, making our already industry-leading network even faster, smarter, greener, and more reliable. Over the decades, Comcast has been your partner, working hard to serve your community, and will continue to be your partner. We're expanding our gigabits so you can enjoy the tiny bits that matter most. You want a healthier lifestyle, but how do you get started? Then stick with it by listening to the Fitness Revolution podcast with Shay Sandifer, of course. Your journey to greater well-being starts now. Like this dance? Hello, how are you? This is how I feel today. It's Coach Shay with Fitness Revolution. I'm sitting on cloud nine today because a couple things. A, we got my child at college. I'm going to keep talking about that. So I'm still having separation issues. Yes, <laughs> I am. She's living her best life. But today I was named um, Minnesota Twins Game Changer of the Year for 2023. Not too shabby, huh? So I was recently told that I needed to live in the moment, which I do, but to embrace it, but also to celebrate myself because that is so important because especially as black women, we will, we always humble ourselves, right? We're supposed to be humble and grateful for this opportunity. And we are, but at the same time, it is not easy getting here right? It is not easy, nor are you looking for the accolades that come along with this. And so there's a couple things I am going to talk about. And the thing today is we're going to have a word and my one of my favorite words, which is perseverance. If you do not know what that means, I am going to read you what it is. First of all, it's a noun. The persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So example, uh, his perseverance with the technique illustrates his single mindfulness. So my perseverance over the last 10 years of becoming an entrepreneur, uh, you know, coming out of divorce, leaving corporate America, leaving restaurant businesses has not always been easy, right? Um, it didn't start off with all of this and it still is a lot to maintain. But what I do is the things that you don't want to do when no one's looking, right? When no one else is showing up, you know, during COVID to the farmer's market and you got five vendors and you still came and 50 people came out. Uh, when you had to teach class that day and you got a migraine, but you got 80 people walking or standing at the door. When you got to teach a meal prep class because you got to keep people engaged because it's COVID and you have to, and you've got 15 viewers waiting online to look at what you're doing. When people walked out um, as working for you or contractors because they weren't ready for the next level. When I've had business partners that were not ready for the next level, I had to keep persevering to the next level. So perseverance is what got me here. And I think that sometimes we look at people and we're like, they got it all. They have it all. And oh my gosh, you know, the must be nice, um, which we don't do must be nice, right? Because perseverance is all about our wellness, right? And our well-being. Um, it takes a lot of discipline to do the things you don't want to do to get to where you want to be. If you would have told me 10 years ago, this is where I would have been, I would have been like, uh, okay. But I didn't see it. What I saw was a great future. I saw myself creating generational wealth. 
I saw what my brand is, which is racial health and equity through the lens of fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and creating that journey for others. And that's the perseverance that I keep putting in place and will keep continuing to do. Today and this this whole year, right, we're eight months in, and I have uh, won quite a few things, um, and I have not nominated myself for one thing. Other people um, have been along with this journey. I have an amazing team. I have amazing family. I have friends. Um, I have supporters. I would say the biggest fan of yours always during this, during your perseverance journey is people you don't know, right? They see you persevering past everything, right? And they see you doing the little things. And then all of a sudden they see the big things and they are, they're rooting for you, right? Where sometimes the people in between they can't see it. They can't see your vision. They can't see why do you keep doing these things over and over? Are, is there going to be an N that highlights and has this big win? It's not always a big win, right? Sometimes the perseverance comes from the fails. You need the failures to see the wins, to appreciate the wins, to appreciate where you are in life. Um, I keep saying I'm wearing the money green, right? So not that, you know, money makes the world go round. But I also love the color. I feel like it is definitely the green light to go ahead, the green light to persevere to the next le level. I don't even know what the next level is anymore, you guys, because I'm living my dream. I am li living my dream. I have checked off every box this year that I have wrote down in the last 10 years. Um, from buying a house, again, I hadn't owned a house in 10 years, I used to, um, to getting engaged, never thought I'd do that again, right? Uh, <laughs> to um, understanding what my mental well-being is, which is taking Sundays off all the time. So Sundays, you're not going to catch me working ever. I'm not working. Uh, to getting my baby girl to college, to getting my son, a black son, persevering through all of that over the last three years, uh, getting him to his senior year, um, to building not th not one, not two, not three, but four different businesses that generate income that I'm able to bring in staff and bring in contractors to help me, but also to help them, right? This helps their families. And I am so grateful for that. And I am going to keep doing I do it, what I'm doing, and I'm not going to stop. I feel like there is no ceiling. There is no no. No just means yes. Go find that yes and keep going and keep going and write down everything. And this is the true idea of success. It's the failures. It's the fall downs. It's the tears. It's the days that you didn't know if you could pay stuff to the time you get the big check to sometimes when you get to be in front of people and they're just recognizing because they see your passion. They see how you've been moving forward and moving that needle and persevering through all of the ups and downs. So I hope that in your journey, if you wherever you are at and you're like, I just can't do it, Coach Shay. I just can't get past this. I'm stuck in this fitness. Uh, you know, I'm, I plateaued. My wellness, my well-being, I'm not doing well. How do I get past this depression, right? Um, and then the nutrition part, right? I don't know how to eat. How do I eat well? How do I nurture my family on a reasonable budget when prices have gone so high? To your business. So keep persevering through all that. Write down everything because it is your turn up next. And I'm rooting for everyone that is reaching for their goals. I hope that helps you. I hope you feel my positive energy and you inhale that. So as always, inhale the positive, exhale the negative. This is Coach Shea with Fitness Revolution, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Check back next week for more on living your healthier lifestyle and share previous episodes of Shea's podcast with your friends. Log on to ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. Hi, I'm Shaletta Brundage. I'm a media personality podcaster, and a business owner. But my most important role is mom. Three of my beautiful kids have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. When I didn't know who to trust or where to turn, I found ACRA. ACRA provides home care services to families all over Minnesota. The care is not one size fits all. They know each one of my kids is unique. They listen to what resources we needed and what's best for our family. I've seen my kids grow and thrive with ACRA's in-home care. 
While autism is the most common diagnosis among ACRA clients, ACRA offers personalized in-home care services for people with disabilities, chronic illnesses, behavioral diagnosis, and mental illness. They work with children, adolescents, and older folks too. Find out more about ACRA at their website, acrahomecare.org. ACRA helps me provide my kids with a better quality of life. They can do it for your family too. Children's Minnesota, the leader in specialized health care for kids, is here to raise awareness, standards, the bar, the stakes, the question, the curtain. On raising kids' health to the highest priority, kids need equal access to health care, more pediatric expertise, a voice for change. Kids need us, all of us. So let's raise them up. Children's Minnesota, the kid experts. Would someone you love be at high risk if they got COVID-19? Then be sure to take some steps to keep them safe before you visit. Ask your healthcare provider if you should wear a mask before spending indoor social time with a loved one who's older, has chronic health conditions, or is immunocompromised. And consider self-testing to detect infection before you visit. Even people who are showing no symptoms can have COVID-19 and can unknowingly pass it to others. Do your part to keep your loved ones safe because for some people, COVID-19 is still a true danger. Do you worry that lead-based pain in your older home might be dangerous to your children or kids who visit you? Well, Hennepin County put those fears to rest. Hennepin County offers free lead tests and home assessments. If they find anything, eligible homeowners and landlords can receive up to $15,000 for work on the home, including new windows. The government banned lead-based paint 45 years ago when it was discovered that lead poisoning can affect development and cause permanent damage in young children. But 75% of those homes built before 1978 still contain some lead-based paint. As the paint degrades, it can make dust that little kids ingest when they're crawling and putting things in their mouths. So make sure your home is safe and hazard-free. Learn about testing and that $15,000 grant at hennepin.us backslash lead control. That's hennepin.us backslash lead control. You know Shaletta makes you laugh. But did you know Shaletta Brundage can also make you think and boost your business? Media personality, activist, and comedian Shaletta Brundage founded Shaletta Makes Me Laugh to celebrate and share the best of black culture. It's a podcasting platform. You can download 10 weekly podcasts hosted by African-American subject experts at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com is also a production house creating broadcast quality commercial content. And Shaletta and her team of storytellers create powerful promotional campaigns to get businesses the brand awareness they're looking for. Some of Minnesota's top businesses trust Shaletta, and you can too. Get out the word about your events and products and get in front of communities of color with ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. She's got the power to help your business. <laughs> 